Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Unpacked. I'm Jack, and this is the UE Boom. If some of you have never heard of UE, it's short for Ultimate Ears. They're a company that started off making some of the best in-ear monitors in the industry. Then, in 2008, they were acquired by Logitech. On to the boom. It's a Bluetooth speaker. Now, I know some of you are saying, oh, it's just another wireless speaker. To that, I say yes and no. It's available in six different colors, although at this time, NCIX only carries four of the six. It comes in at a price of $219.99 on the NCIX website. That's a lot for a speaker. Or is it? Let's take a closer look. All right, so inside the packaging, we find a black cylindrical tube. There's a little notch here where you can grab onto to open it up. And inside we find the boom itself. We'll get to that later. And we also have two little flappy tabs on the top and bottom, one depicting a cable and the other depicting a lightning bolt. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one is where the cable is stored and this one is where the power brick is stored. Pulling out the cable portion, we find a, a user's manual in both English and French, a really bright yellow power charging cable. Now it's a flat cable design, so it doesn't tangle up. It is a micro USB to USB. Right, that's about four feet in length. Nice quality cable, I have to say. Although the color choice is kind of mismatching the black boom tube. All right, next up we have a, oh, okay. It's a rubber protector for the 3.5 mil jack and the charging port. So this attaches to the bottom so you can make sure that the boom is free of dust in both those ports. And finally at the bottom of the cable portion of the slot here, we find the safety, compliance, and warranty pamphlet. All right, putting those aside, we pull out the power brick portion. And to our, well, to nobody's surprise, it's a just the power brick. It is the same bright yellow as the cable. And this one's rated at an output of 5.1 volts at two amps. Moving along to the speaker itself, this particular color variation is night black. It's got a nice soft touch matte rubber finish and it's about 1.1 pounds. Up top we have a Bluetooth connection button, a power button, both with small LED indicators on the top there. The speaker grill is an acoustic skin with plasma coating for water and stain resistance. So if you're out by the pool, you won't have to worry about it getting wet. On the side we have volume control. They are slightly hard to press, but I can see why they did that. So if you have this bounce around in your bag and you're playing music, you won't have to worry about it being bumped around and have the levels of volume changing on you. And if you press them at the same time, you'll get this. 80% charge. So well, that's actually pretty cool. And finally on the bottom, we have a 3.5 mil jack, the micro USB port for charging, and a threaded quarter inch D-ring. So not only can you stand it up, lie it flat down, or have it clipped onto something on the D-ring, you can also remove the D-ring and put it on a tripod that you might have lying around. Like this one. On to performance. Right off the bat, the entire media team here was extremely impressed by the sound that came pouring out of the booms. But to be honest, I was a bit skeptical about the booms. But the skepticism was blown away as soon as we turned it on. Speaking of turning it on, pairing was extremely easy with NFC. But NFC isn't a point that was really advertised, which kind of surprised me. And when they say 360 degrees sound, they mean it. Music plays evenly into every nook and cranny of any room. And the volume control. Man, this is the first time ever I was scared to actually turn up the volume because this speaker you can literally crank up to 11. It's that loud. It's about 88 decibels. That's like a lawnmower. The highs and mids were really clear, but the bass was a little lacking for my tastes. But with a little more digging, I found out that you could simply apply an update with your computer to the boom, and then with the paired app, you can actually adjust the EQ settings, and one of them being bass boost. Speaking of the app, in addition to changing EQ settings, you can also set alarms so that your UE boom plays music in the morning to wake you up, and maybe the rest of your house. You can change settings like the language the battery indicator will communicate in. I tried Japanese and Chinese, but the Chinese sounded a little off, but my Chinese is rusty. You can also check the in-app manual for the UE Boom, just in case you lose the one that it came with. 
And you can double up on the UE Boom. Double up allows you to pair another UE Boom to the phone or whatever Bluetooth device you have in stereo so you can instantly spread the sound and make everything just two times louder, which is insane. On to battery life. Battery life has been amazing so far. I was using this for at least seven hours straight and at normal volumes, nothing too intense, it still has 80% battery left. The boom is specced out for 15 hours, but with my use, I can see it pushing on to more than a full day if I could get my Nexus 5 to last that long. And last but not least, the UE Boom is also a speakerphone. And we're just gonna do it impromptu test. The guys should still be in the editing room, so I'll just quickly give them a call and we'll see the sound quality. Let's call keys. Hello, Jack. Hello. What's up? How do I sound? How do you sound? Yes. What's happening? <laughs> what is the purpose of this call? <laughs> I'm calling you on the boom. How does my voice sound? My voice sounds fine. Awesome, thank you very much, that's all I needed. With all the good stuff I've been spewing about the boom, there were a few minor things that kinda irked me a little. First off, a really minor issue would be the top buttons. The LEDs are actually hidden under your finger when you try and press the power button or the Bluetooth indicator button. So you can't visually tell when to let go to let you know that they're on, but the boom does have audio notifications when powering on and powering off and when pairing is active, so I can look past that. The next issue is pricing. With all the other various portable Bluetooth speakers out there ranging from various build quality and prices, the booms might be overlooked for something of lesser quality. But the booms are on sale for $199.99 at the time of filming right now at NCIX, because it's on sale. For some that's still a quite a bit of money to spend. But you have to keep in mind that the UE boom is water resistant, it's super loud, provides crisp, clear sound, it's portable, it comes with an easy to use app, has 15 hours of battery life, and super build quality. If you're the type of person that's always the designated music bringer to a party, this guy, the UE Boom is definitely worth its price tag. But I'll leave the choice up to you guys, and leave a comment down below if you have a favorite portable Bluetooth speaker, or if you'd be interested in getting a Boom. Thanks for checking out this episode of Unpacked Guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Here come the boom!